Today I'm going to be comparing this O Anley bath mat with this DIY reversible crochet bath mat. Now one thing about this DIY bath mat that I like is the fact that it is reversible. So you can quite literally just take it and flip it over. However, it does look the same on both sides, the front and the back. So I'm not sure why you would need to reverse it, especially because of the way the tag is on that. Another downside to this bath mat actually being reversible is the fact that neither side have rubber grips. So when you first purchase this one from DII, they recommend that you put some sort of pad under it, which kind of defeats the purpose purpose for a bath mat, I guess, kind of, and also really makes the reversible even less attractive when compared to the O'Anley bath mat. Now the O'Anley bath mat is not reversible, but it is incredibly plush and thick. You can kind of see my fingers sinking down into the top there. This bath mat is one of the most comfortable ones that we have ever used at our home. Let me show, show you the thickness on it. The bottom does have this nice rubber gripping, so you don't have to worry about it sliding around or everything or anything too terribly much like you do with this DII. Again, you can kind of see the DII just kind of shoves around there. And then I do the same with the O'Anley and nothing. You know, I can grab it and slide it back and forth, but when I'm on top, it's not moving at all. And I'm trying to shove it and it's not. Whereas with the DII, it moves a lot since it doesn't have that rubber grip on the back of this one. So the crochet design is nice, but not having the ability to kind of grip to the floor. To me, when it's a bath mat, it really needs that. So overall, the O'Anley is definitely a better choice if you have the space. It is a longer bath mat, so just something to keep in mind with that one.